Weenies are up on our grill, but not for long, because now we have Hitasugu to consume the weenies. When it enters, it destroys all permanents that cost one or less, and on the following turn, exiles all graveyards before finally flipping into this monstrosity. Now the dilemma is what deck would want this, because Red Block has a ton of weenies, or graveyard stuff, or both. Nonetheless, the perfect home for Hitasugu is in the lovely domain deck. Turn one, we fetch your Triome, Shock on turn two, playing either Kavu, or Scion. And then when opponents in shock, having to deal with 5 5 on turn two, on turn three, we throw down Mantis Rider, or Shrapless Agent, cascading into another Kavu. In many matches, that 2 3 punch is enough to win outright. However, there are some decks that can outspeed us, and those those are the weenie decks, so when our opponent tries to outrun us with weenies, they'll fall up their board, and then BOOM! Hit a Suku. It's just the perfect backup plan. As for the rest of the deck, we have removal, removal, mana fixing, protection from wipe, and one ravioli to distract our opponent from our real threats, and on the sideboard, chunky creature heat, more graveyard heat, targeting hate, pre spell hate, a little artifact enchantment heat, and lastly, Juicy Jigantha. That is a deck, now it's time to go torture our opponents. But first, here are today's winners of the free deck box and card giveaway. A giveaway made possible by today's sponsor, Rage Shadow Legends. Rage Shadow Legends is just like Magic the Gathering, except with more, you know, more of these. Raid Shadow Legends has it all. Dungeon runs, campaign battles, raid bosses, player versus player arena matches, and these again. There are over 500 champions with unique skills and hundreds of artifacts to equip them with. And Raid Shadow Legends is all about strategy. Why else would they have so many ways to customize your champions? Here is my favorite champion because of reasons. Raid Shadow Legends is available for iOS, Android, and PC. Here is me giving my seal of approval. Raid is constantly adding new content to the game, including the boss Sylvania, Guardian of the Spirit Keep, who specializes in healing and deals damage based on how much health she has left. And that's why it'll take some big brain strategy to beat her. But if you think that's something, check out the new Hydra Boss, along with a ton of events and tournaments. A perfect task for the new champion Karado, who packs a lot of power. To get a huge head start in Raid Shadow Legends, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, or scan the QR code on screen, and you'll receive the new Epic Champion Nyina, and all these extra bonuses which can be found right here. And now back to the video. Opening hand has an S Curver and a Keep. Oh, and it's a Goblin deck. Oh, and hit a Sugu. Well, first Manamorphose, and then place high on. Oh, a lot of pump passes. And shirtless, but no land. That's pretty stinky. I as well search for five and pray we find a land. A pump finds fanatic. A pump plays Gotham Matron. Putting Snoop in hand. Oh, and then playing munitions experts. So they can all lock bar to kill it. Bummer. Oh my gosh, where's our lands? Whatever, we'll pass back. A pump circles for two. Play a Snoop. Gotta make sure they don't pop off with a combo. A nice land. How will we go? Shirtless? Boros Charm, okay. Oh, activates Vile. Getting another Snoop. And oh, shoot, they have us. Because with Kiki Jiki on top, they can make infinite tokens and then sack them all. So we're going to game two. I'll go on Game, so it's bringing Blood Moon Hate and Creature Hate, and without getting game two. Opening hand has a nice curve just like Mama, so we're gonna keep Prospector. And now my only concern is Blood Moon. If the opponent has Blood Moon, Daddy will be very sad. Or Marshall. They get a token. They sack the Marshall. Get another token. And play Mog Fanatic. And as long as they don't pop off here, our opponent's butt cheeks will be ours. We how much fun is this? It's for four. And wipe just like mama showed me how. It's Ugu. Our opponent must be devastated. Oh, and a out of anger. Anger's totally wiped. Upon my snoop. Another fanatic. But the she clapping is inevitable. Make us rider. It's bang for seven. And we'll keep our path at the ready. Oh, a munitions expert. Trying to kill our scion? I think not. The expert only does two. And now back on our turn. We can get him for seven. But it's one short of lethal. Okay, sure. So our opponent either goes infinite or they don't. They don't. Which means it's on the game three. Open oh, a hand. One lance around the mole. Yikes. And this hand isn't super dummy thick. But we'll try. Right. I'm gonna play Spar Spectre. And try him, okay. I'm gonna play Marshall. Play with a bet for one. Uh oh, this sack. A sack again. And another Marshall. Another sack. They sure do love the sack. Another Marshall. Just gotta survive until next turn. Fast back to opponent. They play land and reveal the tenant. They're gonna sack us to drain. So, kill. And do they wanna sack the board? I don't think so. They're just gonna hope that we don't have board by I bet. Oh, they sack it. And at least they get their tokens. And now for the greatest moment ever. It is Sugu. That's a hard wipe. Hooray. We'll see if our opponent can recover. Oh, they find a land. What a loser. And now Mantis Rider. Three. Oh, another land. Hit a Sugu flips. Tie on three more. DCJ in hand. Oh, they do find Snoop. With a land on top. How unfortunate for our opponent. And we find Blood Braid. Tribal Flames. We shall pass. Play Tribal Flames. And we have Lethal. What an amazing start to our run. And we have to be many more like it. Oh, in a hand. No early threats. Run at the mole. And yeah, this better. We'll keep. Oh, and it looks like taxes. Land. Play Kavu and pass. Oh, and Saga. Run. Oh, wait, no. It's Hammer Time. Hit a Sugu, where you at? Daddy needs you. Lord will hold takes Kavu. Land. Oh, Mantis Rider. Pick over three. And as long as our opponent doesn't pop off this turn. And there's a chance to draw a Sugu. Upon what status player? Well, then pass it back. Oh, and dreams really do come true. The question is, do we do it now or next turn? Because they still have Saga, and they could make two constructs. So I think the dummy thick option will braid. Oh, finding Hitasugu perfect. Because we can wipe now and also next turn. And even our opponent loves Hitasugu. So we'll draw a card and big wipe. And our opponent was so traumatized that they forgot to flood a mana. So no construct for them. Although they could make one now. No, they give up. That's the spirit. Going in game two is bringing all this for all this and we'll pass getting two. Opening hand, not bad. But no fun cards. So we're gonna have to mole. Ew. 
wall again. Oh my. One land though. Sure, why not? This might be a bit too ambitious. But in the name of clapping cheeks, how could we say no? Uh oh, not a land. A home dumps. Tickles for two. Uh oh. It's getting kind of stinky. I think we need to buy some time. Hold a force. Hooray. A home plays the bot for one. Plays another signal pest. Into land will take it. Although we can't play Kabu. A home swings. Play Shadow Spear and come on to land. Hooray. Here comes Hitasugu. And there goes their board. And what? Our opponent concedes? Weren't they having fun? People are just too difficult to understand. Like when I flash my schlong in public, the popo comes after me. But when I flash my uncle, he buys me ice cream. How do you explain that? Some of the life mysteries are just too hard to figure out. But what can you do? It's on in the next match. Oh, putting hand, I've seen better. But the curve's alright, we'll keep. Oh, and it's another Rossi deck. This could be difficult. I'll play Saga. And they play Chalice on one. That's fine. Venus Rider. Dump our bolt. And our opponent better hurry. I'll play Madam Reshaper. When it dies, they get a permanent from the top of the deck. But now we must fulfill our duty of clapping cheeks. Eat the butt for eight. Upon it soaks up two of it. What will they find? <laughs> Warping whale. And there's a concede. I'll go on game two. running Labian. The stuff on without putting two. Oh, opening hands. Five lands is too many. We're gonna have to mole. And yeah, this is fine. We'll keep. Another Kavu, okay. Oh, Pawn's on our second Tron land already. We'll play Kavu and pray for another land. Oh, dismember. Oh, what opponent passes? Not a land, though. We'll play Kavu and pass our opponent. What opponent passes again? Fits their four and discard. Oh, and where's our lands at? And what another dismember? I can't even play Scion, okay. I'm gonna play Chalice on one. Oh my gosh. This is what real oppression looks like. I'll put passes back. Meh. At least we can play it. Pass back to our opponent. And opponent finds a land. Lawn land for. Oh my gosh. This is truly tragic. Another matter reshaper. I don't understand. The magic guys must be punishing daddy for all of the anime that I've watched. Another reshaper. Havu. Oh, and they have Tron. Finding the list for the win. So we're going to game three. Opening hand, two lands again. So we gotta turn two play. And then if we draw a third one, turn three play, we'll keep. Come on, land. Oh, there's a land. We'll gladly take it. All but dismember. Let's cross the temple. Chalice. Water grave. Playing heartless. Finding path of exile. Fine. Lost zone. Now it's bloodbird time. Play it. Finding a lightning bolt. Oh my gosh. Best for five. I'll find the boss zone. Plays Mana Reshaper. And now we're still in it. Have to go Shartless or Mantis Rider. I suppose we'll try for Shartless. Finding Kavu. Okay. We'll swing. On the trades. And please don't hit anything good. Thought must in hand. Okay. And here comes the thought. Oh, and they concede. They realize they're no match for us. And so the spanking continues. Oh, running hand. Oof. Five lands. But double Kavu is pretty sexy. So I'll keep. Opponent plays land and passes. And nice. Another Kavu. Play it. And it's back to opponents. Well, that's suspicious. Why would they play that land? Are they like a death and taxes deck? Kind of looks like it. Fist for five. Finding tribal flames. Play another Kavu and pass. Oh, and Sky Clay Vaporation. Taking out Kavu. But I don't make the idea. Fist for five. Oh, one opponent chumps. So unexpected. In that case, play Kavu. And pass opponents. Opponent plays Noble. And plays Boron in hand. Four is for four. Imperfect Scion. Play it. And now the only thing I have to watch out for is Solitude. Swing. Oh, they do have Solitude. We lose our sign and they go to six. We'll play another Kavu and pass. One plays Ghost Quarter. Plays Boron. Flickering Sky Clay. But unfortunately for our opponent, Mega Spank. A hunt blocks like that and goes to one. And then Tribal Flames. So we're going to game two. I'm going to game two. Let's run in this for this one last one. Two. Opening hand. Three lands. So we can't turn to Scion. Eh, we'll try it. Oh, opponent plays Vile. And the land that's pretty good. Opponent plays Vile. Playing us with Sentinel. Oh, and Stone Forge. Grabbing Calder complete. Yikes. We really need a removal. A nice path. We'll have to do it now. Opponent plays Maul. And gets him with a 3 3. And another land. Okay. Play it and drop Scion. What's the opponent going to do about that? They put Boron in hand. And play Noble. Okay. And they fist us for four. As first Rex will take it. And Kavu. That pretty good. This feels a little stinky. So play Kavu. And we'll pass back. And why did opponents don't attack? How did they know? I was going to give him Destructible to Scion. But why would they move Vile to four? That concerns me. How about we go Blood Braid? Finding Tribal Flames. Opponent going to have their card draw. And Sentinel goes to Jesus. We'll just go for it. Uh oh. Solitude. Okay. Taking out Scion. Build Boreon here. They can flicker the Solitude. Upon Fist of Four. Play Stone Forge. Finding Batter Skull and Flicker Wisp. Yep, they have us. Because they can also Vile and Boreon. So we're going to game three. Going to game three. This one in this for this one last game three. Opening hand. One lands from after Mole. And yeah, this final keep. Here comes Vile. Another Vantage Rider. And we shall dump Kavu and pass. Celia. Imperfect to land. Vantage Rider. Eat her opponent's for eight. Opponent's at twelve. Oh, Sky Club Vaporation. That's pretty racist. Oh, and Lightning Bolt. This could be a dummy thick opportunity. For now, I think the best move. Vantage Rider. Spank for six. Land tap on opponent activates Vile. Stormforge. Oof. Finding Batter Skull. Vile wow, goes up to three. And opponent just passes. And nice tribal flames. Even though Thalia is kind of in the way. But we'll go for it. Spank for six. Opponent activates Vile. Oh, and the Exile Mantis Rider. Maybe we should have put out Sion then. Oof. It bolts. Of course, our opponent's to take three. But then they can attack with Batter Skull. Which will happen anyway. We'll just let blocks happen here. Yep. If it weren't for Thalia, we go Tribal Flames Lightning Bolt for the win. But one mana short of that. So instead, play Scion. Batter Skull comes down. And we get back Mantis Rider. And what? Our opponent tries to equip Thalia. We could just bolt Thalia. But I'm worried about this vial. I think we gotta go for the bolt. Thalia goes to Jesus. But then attacks with Batter Skull. We'll take it. They go back to 10. We draw Scion. Play it. Spank for 7. Opponent takes it. Which means we could have Lethal unless they have Solitude. Because if they have Solitude, they can exile one of their creatures. But even if they do, I don't think that will save them. So we'll go for it. Tribal Flames. And there it is. But where is Hitasugu at? That would have really helped take out Vile. But now we try for the 
though. Oh, hang on, no turn to place, we're gonna have to mole. Oh gosh, mole, whatever, we'll keep. I wanna play Vial. Oh my gosh, whatever, we'll pass. I wanna play Thalia, is this another taxes deck? Now the problem is we go startless and find that creature stuff. Thalia will stop it. So let's play Kavu and pass back to opponents. I wanna play that person, taking out Kavu. I wanna take this for two. And does our opponent have way on an Arbiter? Perhaps. But we'll try to fetch. That works. Play Startless. Finding Bolt. I wanna activate Vial. Oh, I'm so forge. Finding Calder complete. I wanna place it. Play another Vial. And it puts out Skyclave. So our opponent has this. We're going to game two. Going on game two. Let's bring in all this for all this one last game two. Opening hand I've seen better. But as soon as I write, we'll keep. I wanna place Vial. Another land. Play Kavu. And it's back to opponents. I wanna place Mending Mage. Preventing us from playing Startless Agent. Land. We'll play Sion. Fist for five. I love land. Fetch. And I wanna place Giver. I wanna place that person. Taking Kavu. And then post out Thalia. And then passes to us. Look, right, okay. A little risky with Thalia out. We'll try for it. Oh, lightning bolt. Whatever. Fist for four. And it's back to opponents. That beauty. Taking Sion. And we can't block as a giver. Oh god, and a flucker wisp. Yep, our opponent has us. Very sad. So four one a roll. Our deck is so close. Maybe if we put an extra land, it would help against the taxes matchup. But with a deck this strong, the 5-0 is bound to happen. If you have any suggestions on how we can improve the deck, you can let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay down with thick.